Neighborhood Badger here, and I've got a fun little video for you today. It's probably not going to be too long, but I'm going to explain uh, a little bit of an arch nemesis experiment that I've been playing around with. Now, as you may or may not know, I'll, I'll do another video on the arch nemesis mechanic, but basically there's a ton of recipes that you can make with all of the individual parts through arch nemesis. Uh, now, Grimro uh, recently was talking about a really cool strategy that he was doing. Uh, to generate a bunch of currency using a treant horde mob. Now the treant horde is basically creating a bunch of smaller little monsters that are then going to drop the uh, random reward types, but then you can actually turn those random reward types into being all from a specific type of currency uh, or, or reward type. Currency is what we're playing around with. Now I thought there are some pretty crazy recipes in Arch Nemesis, the kind of top end ones, like Innocence Touched and Kataba Touched and all this kind of stuff. What if we use Treant Horde to try and boost to the absolute maximum? Now, let's just quickly have a look at these uh, ones right here. Uh, and you can use a total of four in your Arch Nemesis uh, setup to drop as much currency as you possibly can. Now, the way it works is there, depending if you want to create a recipe, it doesn't matter what order you do them in, but if you want to generate the most rewards possible, it does actually matter what order you do put all of these recipes in. So let me run you through the idea and what we actually did. I'll show you what we got from it, and then I'll talk about whether I think it's actually viable to do this full spec, because uh, it may have taken me quite a long time to do it. The Brian King Touch was the first one that I made. Now you can see here, these are all the Brian King Touched parts. You need Ice Prison, which is made Permafrost Sentinel, Storm Rider with Storm with a Hasted, blah, blah, blah. And then that all combines into the Brian King Touched. Now the Brian King Touched rewards are rolled six additional times choosing the rarest result, and it has three rewards. So if you just run this on its own, it's going to roll these three armor rewards, and then it's going to roll them six additional times and give you the best result. Basically a lucky six times. The next one we run is a fairly simple one of Tree and Horde, as I did talk about. Just Toxic, Sentinel, and Steel Infused for the Tree and Horde. And this is going to mean that Monster's minions are replaced with powerful Treants. Some damage taken from the monster is split between the Treants. Now, this does mean uh, that uh, Monster's minions drop randomly, uh, they drop a randomly chosen reward type. So if it's random, you know, it's going to be random. However, the last two are what really make this really big. The first bit is very similar to what Grimrow's been doing, and this is this next bit takes a lot longer to, uh, to farm up. First of all, Innocence Touched. Now, Innocence Touched is by far the hardest recipe to complete. Innocence Touched uh, needs uh, Lunaris Touched in it, which needs a bunch of recipes. It needs Solaris Touched in it, which needs a bunch of, re bunch of recipes. It needs Mirror Image in it, and it needs Mana Siphoner in it. So this takes, I think, uh, 27 individual base parts to get this but what it means is all reward types are currency so we now have currency 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 and it's converted the previous ones of this one here and these three here all to currency so by this third one we've got seven currency right right there then the last one is katava touched once again takes quite a few things not as much as innocence but very very close and katava touch is giving you rewards are doubled so it's giving you an extra reward, bringing it up to 8, and then it doubles them all through 16 currency rewards. These 16 currency rewards are all being re-rolled 6 times, and giving you the highest roll possible. Now this is basically, uh, you know, jamming in as much lucky as you possibly can into a single reward. In the map that I ran this, and I'll, you know, I'll chuck how I actually ran it onto the end. You, you can see me actually run the whole thing. But I dropped two flat Exalted Orbs, 28 flat Chaos, 8 flat Vials, and then a bunch of other smaller currency here as well. Uh, now, the last bit that I do want to talk about is uh, the difference between what Grimro was doing, which was fairly easy uh, in terms of the parts that you were using. You were only using a couple of recipes and then you were putting them all together just for, you know, smaller currency types of things. Compared to the one that I did, which I did get a bit unlucky with part drops, but this took me, uh, what is it, 13 hours on stream right now. This took me, yeah, about 11 hours of grinding maps, doing other things as well, not just solely focusing on this. But it took me 11 hours to get all the parts that I needed. I was unlucky. 
I might do this again, but instead use something like Uniques or something like that, see if we can drop some crazy stuff doing that. But uh, this version from this one experiment here, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I don't think it's fully going to be worth it to, to do it, uh, to do it that way. Um, uh, yeah, so that's all I really have to say. This was a really fun experiment. It's a little underwhelming. Well, look, you see 2x there, so it's not that underwhelming, but 11 hours of gameplay in the top end of maps. I could probably farm, well, I did farm a lot more currency than this, uh, very easily just doing other things. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll put the end of uh, at the end of this video. I'll put how I ran all of this, and you can have a little look at that. Um, I'm also going to include down below a bunch of links. Uh, first of all, just the link to PoEDB. To, you know, you can check up all of these recipes here. It's got them all data mined. Um, then I'm also going to post uh, this link was on Reddit, um, which is a really really good one that someone has chucked together. So you should definitely check this out. It's a really nice uh, flowchart of everything together. So as you can see here, Innocence Touched has. Uh, by far the most uh, parts in it, and then Katava Touched is uh, um, uh, basically second there. So we're using these many parts to get what we got there. TLDR, uh, probably don't do Innocence Touch, Katava Touched, however, it's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, until next time, Badger is out. So that we're going to go in is Brian King Touched for rewards are rerolled six additional times. Then we go to Treant Horde for Monsters minions drop a randomly chosen reward type. Then we go to Innocence Touch for all reward types of currency. And then we go Kitava Touched for rewards a double. All right. This is probably the most amount of parts possible <laughs> To put in a map device, uh, to to put it to put in a, a map thingy. Um, I guess I'm gonna just do it on like a white T14 or something like that. Don't you want currency first? No. No, no, you don't want currency first because that's the this is the way that the treants work. I'm just gonna do a random atoll map, white atoll map. All right, we ready for this? All right, we got this. Do it low tier. Don't brick. This this will be totally fine. This will be totally fine. So Brian King touched. Monster uses the abilities of the Brian King. Wait, so this monster is going to be using Brian King, Treant Horde, Innocent. So it's using. Katava abilities, Innocence abilities, and Brian King abilities. Alright, so there goes number one. Brian King is down. Brian King is down. Now Brian King train. He's already pretty fucking tanky, but that is a, uh, that is one of those big boys. Nah, he's fine. Okay. Negative two to total mana cost of skills synthesized? Whoa! Explosive trap area of effect as well. Holy moly, dude. Spider Silk Robe. Double Tricorn. All right. This is where the money starts happening, I think. Because we don't have any currency yet, and now everything's being transformed into currency. Here we go. One X.
six chaos orbs. Okay, I kind of wanted more from that. I kind of wanted that to uh, explode more, but that was still pretty good. Not good. No, I don't know if that's good enough, though. The last one. Oh, wait. That's a that's a really tanky mob. I don't want to do it on that one. Should have done currency first. No, 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 no. The, the, that's not how it works. Nerf incoming. Okay, considering this took me 11 hours to farm all of this stuff, I don't think there's a nerf incoming to these. There's a nerf probably going to come to a Treant, I would say. What's this mob? A rower? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, here we go. This is the last one. The last one. Katava touched. Rewards are doubled. 16! You ready? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Is that it? Okay, an extra X. And 10C. Okay. That's pretty good. I wanted more X, dude. I wanted like 4X at least. 2X is nice, but is it worth the effort? It's like, it's still making a video and everything, but yeah. Won't be complaining. Kind of not worth the effort for 11 hour work? Not really, hey. 